Hello guys, today I'm taking a look at Zorin OS 15 Lite. Um, I downloaded the ISO and then DD'd it to a USB and then installed it natively to a little gigabyte bricks. The image ISO is about 2.2, 2.3 gig, give or take. Um, but let's just have a little look around. So I haven't installed anything yet apart from HTOP, just to see what we was getting at boot. And I was getting about, uh, memory-wise, I was getting about 670 at boot memory usage. So we're at about 650 now, so I think that's the lowest I've seen it so far. So the panel would be at the bottom, but I've moved it to the top so my, my ugly little face doesn't get in the way of like the buttons and stuff. So you can sort of see what's going on on the, the panel. Um, plus I like, I prefer my panel up the top anyway. So it's quite big by default, so let's quickly just make it a bit smaller. So go to panel preferences. Um, and then we'll just make it say 28 or something like that. 29. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at 29 for now. So let's just say what we've got on the screen. So at the top bar here, we've got the application launcher here where you can also search and it will have categories. So you've got accessories, you have Funar for your file manager. Let's see what version of Funar we have. So we have version 1.8.9. Let's also install NeoFetch while we're just having a look around one second. And there we go, that's just going to grab the package for us. Are we done? We're done. So let me just run a quick Neo fetch. So how many packages have we got out of the box? So we've installed, as I say, HTOP and Neo fetch. So we've got 892 packages. It doesn't have any sh flat pack or snap packages yet. Um, reading the website, it now has baked into it out of the box snap uh, flat pack integration as well as snap. I think snap's been there for a little while though. So but it's not got none installed there as you can see it's just packages so let's keep going of what we was looking at up here so let's go into the games so you have a few random little games in Mahjong, Mine um, I'll just uninstall all of, all of those if I was to use this graphics you've got Document Viewer, GIMP, LibreOffice Draw so I'm going to assume you get the full LibreOffice suite you get Thunderbird Mail for your mail, Remina for remote desktops and Firefox for your web browser Yep, so like I said, you have the full LibreOffice suite, and you've got your settings here, and system. So to the right here, you've got your clock, you've got your sound indicator, power, internet, Bluetooth, and notifications. So let's lock this panel for the moment. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it unlocked. Let's go on to the, their appearance package, and we'll have a look at the layouts yeah so you get two default layouts so let's check the other layout out no oh, let's move it to the bottom for us so there you go so now it's got the icons as well as the you know the title of the program you're running um let's just go back to that so it doesn't remember the placement i'm going to assume that this is doc bar x the um, plugin doc bar x okay so if that's doc bar x I'm going to imagine when you switch to that all that is doing is removing doc bar x from your panel items and then just doing the normal windows buttons yeah there we go so you've got the normal windows buttons there I actually quite like the doc bar x plugin so let's go back to that and then let's move it back to the top like we had it before um, panel preferences and we're just going to unlock it and then let's bring that all the way back up and then let's bring that back to about 28 ish there we go okay cool so and then in this theme but you can choose the accent color so let's make it dark gray oh there we go so now that's changed that color we change the fonts you can change the application theme for the applications and the icons here. So let's go into 
the normal settings manager and get the appearance up so the settings manager for xfce will also have the appearance here as well so you can change the theming in here as well as here so we're getting nothing but black out here and there we go so we've got zoran gray light let's go to zoran dark gray where's that zoran gray dark let's apply that how does that look that's quite nice isn't it and then let's make this panel a bit transparent appearance let's take it down to about 80 so that's on there so then that goes up there um ah so it's not doing it with series just gone mad in the background okay what okay i'm just going to leave that full for now um you can mess around with the dot barx plugin though to get it to go transparent so you can match it up so that's that let's leave that like that for now let's close that let's close that let's close that and let's close that so oh, i forgot to lock the taskbar panel sorry uh, panel preferences and then let's lock the panel right i'm just going to um install a few packages and then reboot once it's installed and then see how much ram we are then using so let's get caden live it's already got gimp let's get vlc let's get t marks let's get what else do we want i mean we're not really going to use this per se um let's just go for that for now uh let's just chuck a y on the end there so we don't have to press yes right let's leave that doing that and then while that's installing let's have a look at the software center because it comes with flat pack integration and snap now um i don't know if it's got the flat hub no it doesn't have the flat hub repository i remember reading that so you can enable that yourself um so then you could have it search the flat hub repository from the software store so as it's got snap out of the box i'm going to assume you're going to get two packages for everything and then if you just also have the flat hub repository you'd get free because of flat pack yeah there you go so you've got two one will be snap and there you go snap store and then the other one will be bionic which is just from apt so yeah so that's what where we're installing from using the terminal here so that's at two three four five percent 10% oh can we go up so let's see what the keyboard shortcuts are out of the box so screen shooter is just print screen as normal and what about the windows window manager what about the window shortcuts so keyboard let's go oh, hold on style is all wrong let's put that to dark as well that's a bit better right keyboard so alt space windows operation menu yep 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 what about snapping right move window to one so that's all control alt f1 right so we're tiling out of the box should be done by default nope that did not work perhaps it's because you've got it binded to this button here so you might have to change that or let's try and change the actual shortcut so where was that not oh, wrong one just for argument's sake let's super let's change it to control super oh that was the wrong one Control super up. So let's see if that worked. There you go. So now I'm going to assume if you was to change the um, binding for this, it would automatically all work with just the super key. But yeah, so snapping works, and I'm going to assume it works with just a mouse. Yep. And you can do four way snapping, which is always nice. 
so oh right cool so we're going to reboot see how much ram we're using at idle now that, uh, at boot now that we've installed a few packages and then we're just going to open up a load of things and see how it handles that and then we'll just sort of cut it off there so i'll see you in a moment okay and we are back so let's pop open up our terminal open up htop 670 so you know we've barely really increased that by anything so that's pretty damn good let's open up a few packages now and see if we run into any lag or freezes Open up the software store. Let's open up Writer. Let's open up GIMP. Let's open up Settings Manager. Let's open up a few tabs on the Firefox. Okay, I'm feeling it a bit laggy now. There we go. Right, let's just see what RAM we're at. So RAM is now at 1.7 and CPU utilization is on all cores is like 60 to 70. This is quite an underpowered machine though. Uh, but it's handling it okay. I'm probably going to keep it on this little machine actually and give it more of a review and sort of because it says it's going to breathe life into old computers new life even even that <laughs> new life so um that's been zoran os like sort of a quick first impressions um thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and i shall see you on the next one